Hi, my name's Dale, and welcome to my shop. Today's challenge is improving a transmission. This transmission comes out of a 1973 Land Rover, which they call a Series 3. Um, the challenge with any of these Land Rover transmissions is they leak a lot of oil. Shift rods fit here, there's actually three of them, and the shift lever comes down and activates them externally, where most transmissions, it's all internally. So what happens is they put in these little square O-rings to help prevent oil from coming out. Well, it doesn't work well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some new grooves. We're gonna put a new O-ring back in here in these channels, and we're gonna cut that out using a fly cutter. That's what we're gonna do today on MetalTipsAndTricks.com improve this transmission. Well, it's kind of a sad day today. It's the end of the ski season, but up on the mountain we celebrate it in a special way. Let me show you some footage. At the end, of, you'll get to see more of this, and especially the girl in the um, little pink tutu. Very cute. So let's get back to this project. Um, the challenge with any of these Land Rover transmissions is they leak a lot of oil. And when I show you the design, the shift rods fit here. There's actually three of them. And the shift lever comes down and activates them externally, where most transmissions, it's all internal. So what happens is they put in these little square O-rings to help prevent oil from coming out. It doesn't work well. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a new O-ring back in here in these channels, and we're going to cut that out using a fly cutter. Now the fly cutter that I'm working on has a great little tooth in here that's about the same size and diameter as the O-ring I'm going to be using. And it's also milled to match the radius of each one of these grooves. So what will happen, we'll put this on the milling machine, we'll, we'll slowly lower it in, and it'll scoop that out. So we're going to mount this all up on the milling machine and cut this out. One of the challenges is we have a clamshell. And we need to make sure that everything lines up because when this collapses down on top of that O-ring, we don't want to misshape the O-ring or, we'll, or we'll be defeating our purpose. So we're going to take this over to the milling machine. We're going to actually take some of the parts off, take it over to the milling machine, get it lined up, and see how it all comes together. So let's go to work. Now I've got the tramp. I just mounted up the transmission, at least this side. Um, and the grooves we're going to cut are right into these channels. Now what you what I did want to make sure is this is square. So when I move this table in and out, everything should just line up perfectly. Now, the second half, I want to do these together so I don't have to figure out the height. I want everything to line up. Now, we're very fortunate that the end of this and the end of this top cap are both milled, so everything lines up really well. We don't have this lined up this way. And what we're going to do is lock our table. OK, now the table is locked from going this way. Bring this in and just kiss it just like that. And that should make it aligned. Here, check for square. We're out of square just a bit. Tighten it up. Like my grandfather always said, you never want to find out you didn't tighten it up enough. So go a little bit more. Let's check for square. Good. Good. But now it's going to be really easy to determine 
what height or what position we want to make the cutting tooth in. We just want to make sure that there's a couple areas that we could be nicking and we just want to avoid those but still give enough shoulder for everything else. And we're going to run this over to the other side. Now there's a bolt right there that I want to make sure I miss. Good. We're going to miss that. Now remember, two of these channels are the same radius. We only mill those two with this cutter, then we have to flip it over. Now I'm seeing a lot of give to this part. So we're going to have to be really careful when we go in there and cut it. I think that's going to work. First one's cut and it's perfect. You know when you make a plan and everything works out? I think this is one of them. Uh, we're going to break it free now. Actually, we'll do the top piece, check it out, examine it, make sure there's no problems. Um, we'll deburr it. We'll see how everything fits together, and then we'll remove the transmission. So we'll be over here at the table here in just a minute. Well, it's done. Um, I don't know how many hours is into this. Not that many. The milling section you know, that took 20 minutes tops, bolting it down, lining it up. Um, making the cutter was the hardest thing to do. That took a good hour. So um, I'm really happy with the results. Let's refresh. So what I ended up doing with that homemade fly cutter is just cut a groove so that old ring could fit right in there. Let's see if I can get a little better seat there. Yeah, there we go. Hopefully this won't leak as much next time I put it in the truck. So again, thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Till next time, get out in your shop and build something cool. Thanks.
once again.